I am now at my relative's house and I ordered this hat me. Guy looks how fun from bossy things that and at first I was really worried that it was gonna be really salty but I just tried a bit of it just now and it was not salty at all. I just arrived at this place and I just checked Google Maps that you can walk along here to go up to Taimoshan. When you reach this sign, I think you should keep going back. So it is actually the day after I hiked the six hour hike yesterday and I woke up feeling like less tired so that's why I decided to still do the Tamoshan hike today. Okay, so you should walk past this sign called the Tamoshan Road and it's around 6.5 kilometers which I think is about an hour and 42 minutes because that's what it says on my Google Maps. Oh, and actually, this road, you can drive up here and see the beautiful view of Taimushan. But then, because they can't walk that far, so if they drove up here, then they can still see the beautiful view. So that's why today, I decided to start from Chunlong. Also, today's weather is so much colder than yesterday. Like, I literally have to wear a jacket, which is good for hiking. So, it's actually like 18 degrees today, and yesterday it was around 27 degrees. Saw some pink and yellow flowers on the way about one kilometer and you can also go to Longmoon and Singmoon Central in the trail you see other people walking to. Walk past the cemetery and on the right there is a crossway so go there keep going forward and I just tried to check how long there's left and I realize there's no service here. I didn't realize there's gonna be these hilly roads here. Because when I watched the TV show last week, it looks like the whole journey is just car roads. So I didn't wear my hiking shoes today. And I thought at first that I walked the wrong way, but luckily, some passerbys they told me this is the correct one. This is the first view you can see. Here, follow this road. So we've come up to this view and you need to keep going upwards. Taimoshan is claimed to be Hong Kong's most misty area as it is often covered in clouds. The first time I came here, it was covered in clouds, but the second time I came here, which is where I flew my drone, it was actually a really clear day. And in the summer, it is frequently covered with cumulus clouds, especially on rainy days. And in winter, clouds and fog often cover the peak. When you leave that area, that area is called New World. When you leave that area, it's literally not that cold. And I'm walking with the lady in front of me. Because actually, when I started this hike, I did it by myself. But when I was asking some passersby, Oh, are you going up to Time of Shan? They said, yeah. And then they said, do you want to come together? So I made a new friend. We're gonna take a photo here. 
we are rich in Kara and we can see a different view. Tamoshan is an inactive volcano dating from the Jurassic period. A small hill known as Konyamshan and New Koltai is near the mountain, and it still vents warm air through cracks in the rocks that leads all the way to the mountain. And actually, I did go to New Koltai that day, and the homes that excel warm air are known as hot pots and when the surface temperature is cold and the warmth of the expelled air is clearly discernible this phenomenon is referred by locals as dragon's breath if the air temperature of the summit is six degrees then the air emerging from the interior of kunyam shan is somewhere between 13 and 21 degrees Celsius. And these hot pots are remnants of the active volcano's superheated steam vents. And the area's volcano rocks, which includes these, are mainly coarse ash crystal stuff. And this clip was actually filmed in Wuyang Shan and it is the fifth highest peak in Hong Kong at a height of 771 meters. It is located southeast of Tai Mo Shan and it's between Chunwan District and Tai Po District. Wuyang Shan is also known as the fake Tai Mo Shan as it obstructs the view of Tai Mo Shan from Xing Mun. And this hill is not found on the official map, and the name was given by the locals. However, it can be found on today's Hong Kong Hiking Trail app. So I'm going to pop the map of the trail that we did today so that you can follow it on the app. As you can see from the map, we actually went to Su Fang Shan, and in this drone clip, I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about the Su Fang Shan. It is actually located in the New Territories, and it is the fourth highest peak in Hong Kong. It is 785 meters, and it is northeast of Tai Mo Shan. And it is also in the 8th stage of the Mackley House Trail. However, I realized I never actually walked the 8th Mackley House Trail. So that's why I've never been to the Sea Function until now. don't know where my wallet is so I looked inside my bag and I looked inside my pocket and I couldn't find my wallet so I hope it's in the car if it's not it didn't roll down a hill because I remember putting it in my pocket and my pocket was closed the whole time so Fingers crossed, it's in my car. Update on my wallet situation. So I went down to the car and I couldn't find it. So I called my dad and I was like, oh my God, I can't find it. And then he was like, oh, so you might have to report it to the police then. I was like, what? and then I told him, if he can look around the house again to see if he can 
spot it and he immediately spotted it. It was right in front of the television. I didn't look there for some reason. I just looked in my bag. I freaked out when it was still there. Even though I didn't bring my bag when I was hiking. And I thought I would end this vlog here. So in the end, this hike took about three and a half hours. And in terms of easiness, I would give it like a one star out of five star because for me, it was really easy. Most of the time, they are all quite flat. And at the start, it was like car roads. And then after about one and a half kilometers, it started to be like hilly roads, but it was still really flat. It's quite easy for me. Although you have to use your hands and feet when you go up the hill, but that was also quite easy for me. I even did this hike not wearing a hiking shoes. It was quite easy. And in terms of taking photos, I would give it a five star out of five star as in there are loads of photos to take even though it was really foggy today but we still managed to take photos where you can see the view you can go over to my instagram to check them out if you like this vlog please give it a like subscribe and I'll see you with another vlog or music video. Bye.